Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Now, this video wasn't actually supposed to be a video in its own right. I'm out with my buddy Dave again, which is awesome because we haven't caught up with each other for ages, way too long. Anyway, this afternoon's video was just supposed to be part of tomorrow's video as like a, maybe like a flashback montage. We went out for the afternoon yesterday, maybe caught a couple of fish, but it just turned into something really really cool so i have to make a video about it so this is a bit backwards this is the end of the day but this is the beginning of the video caught fish on dry flies nymphs and best of all big streamers and you wait till you see where we're staying tonight oh it's pretty cool so grab yourself a beverage sit yourself down put this on the big screen and i'll catch you guys at the end So we split up, Dave's going to fish the other side, I'm going to fish up this side and then we'll meet up at the top and carry on. Kind of all pockety, a big rock garden, it's cool water. Little pocket here, and bang some through here. I know real quickly if there's anything in this kind of water. Found him. Find that fast stuff. Not a big fish, but we will take her to start. Come on. Nice. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. Nice! Hey, and Dave's in as well! Nice work! First fish of the trip. Super pretty. Just a little guy. Cool. We'll get it back. <sighs> nice one! Alright, cool. First fish of the trip and she was a real pretty little rainbow. I looked downstream and Dave was hooked up to a fish too, both on the board for the trip. That fish ate the stone fly, 101, size 10. Great fly. Okay, so I found a fish on the inside. I think it might be a brown. Uh, anyway, so I have, what have I done? Taken the nymph rig apart, off. I've gone for a size 14 tricky situation. Just gonna try the dry. Just never know, he might eat the dry. And if he doesn't, I'll put a dropper underneath it and a little nymph and give that a go. That's perfect. That's even better. Right there. Yes. No. Yes. It is a brown. Maneuvering through the boulders. Come on. Oh, 
pretty. Look how pretty she is. So pretty. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. Really, really solid. That was a cool little fish, really pretty, you know, about yay big, tiny head, big shoulders. Uh, I thought it looked like a brown. Um, and yeah, just needed to get the right drift, just on the right line, and she just came up. Um, no hesitation. But um, I thought I'd just run you through quickly what I'm using for the Nymph dry droppery setup. It's the Helios prototype I've been testing, you know the one. Got the Mirage LT size 2 reel in the burnt orange, and then on here, it's the Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line in a 5 weight. Loop to loop off of that, you can see right here, that's a loop to loop connection just to a uh, 7 foot floating poly leader from Orvis, down to a tippet ring, and then I've got about 7 feet of 3x fluorocarbon, the absolute supreme stuff from Scientific Anglers, off that tippet ring down to about four feet of 4X, and then I just chucked a size 14 tricky situation from category three flies. Such a good fly. You should all go out and buy some tricky situations. No, in fact, no, you shouldn't, because if everyone's using them, they might not be so effective. So don't buy them, they're crap. Dave's caught me up. He's had a couple of good fish below me on the other side, and he's just fishing up behind me because I really didn't fish that uh, water below me. I just kind of came up, saw that fish on the inside, and just fished to her. So he could pull something out of it. Oh wow, look at this cool old tree. Man, I love these trees in here. So cool. tree over there, pretty sure he's going to try and get into. Oh, that's a cool looking fish. 
Come on. Nice. Woo. That's a bit more like it. Man, it's a pretty fish. Just a little pocket rocket. So cool. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and out of there. Didn't want the release shot. Didn't hang around for the release shot, so sorry about that, but cool colors. And uh, yeah, I could see that fish on the bottom just kind of just moving around on the sand. And um, yeah, one drift, fish moved over. Indicator just kind of hesitated and went under and job done. Good times. I thought it was gonna rain there for a little bit, but I think we're gonna get away with it for a bit longer. Great first day. Pretty, uh, pretty happy with how this has gone. Yeah, that's a cool fish, eh? Yeah, that's a wicked fish. I didn't actually get the um, uh, hookup on here because I didn't turn the camera on. So hopefully I got it on the main camera. But yeah, it was a uh, flashback pheasant tail, size 14, nice. uh, again. Uh, cool, all right. I just got bitten by a sandfly. We don't have sandflies up here. <laughs> cool blue duck over there and his mate over there. Just having a sleep until we turned up. Sorry guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Look at that pool, man. That's such a cool setting. What a vista. All right, last piece of water for the day. And it's raining. I'm gonna go with the streamer. I really want one on the streamer. Come on, streamer fish in the rain. Come on, baby. Come on. On it. Yes! Oh! Streamery! That was awesome! Oh! That was so cool! 
That was like Dorado fishing in Bolivia, man. Oh, I just saw. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, again! I think I should put my jacket on. Yes! Oh, there we go. There we go. Woo! Streamer in the rainy! Oh, yeah! Oh, dude. That is so freaking cool. Come on, come on. Come on with the net job. Nice. Got it done. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was amazing. That was super cool. I'm going to put my rain jacket on because I'm soaked. <laughs> oh. I stayed out in the rain way too long. I'm absolutely soaked, but that was so, so cool. Three eats, one fish to the net. Got it done. They're just so aggressive. Oh, man. I'm in love with this way of fishing. So, so good. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. I'm pretty much done for the day. To be honest with you, I don't need to catch anything else today. I'll just fish this out just because it's fun. That fish ate right the rod tip too. That's really, 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 really raining. That's a good fish. That fish just hammered it. Oh, good rainbow. Good rainbow. Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, that's a cool, cool fish. Big, big, angry jack wanting to kill things. Oh, it's a good fish, yes. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, man. Look at that. Cool fish. Barbara's hook. Up straight out. That's a lovely fish, man. <laughs> Just a beast of a fish. Massive peck fins. Okay, so thought what I'd do before I finish this video off because I forgot to do it the other week is run you through what I'm using for the streamer setup. So I've got the Helios 3 6 way F. Um, well, that's it, it's the Helios 3 6 way F. I've got the Mirage LT size 2 reel in the kind of lighter olive color. Then on here, oh, I still don't know what this is called. It's a Scientific Angler's uh, intermediate running line to a sink 3 section to a sink 6 section. I must find out what, I'll find out what it's called and I will put it down here right now, the name of the line, because I'm just terrible and useless. And then off of that, I've got about, that much maybe three and a half four feet of 16 pound fluorocarbon 
the uh, absolute supreme tippet from uh, Scientific Anglers again. And then I've got this game changer that my buddy Dustin tied and I stole. Bought, I bought, I did buy it. I will buy it when I pay for it when I get back from this trip. Honestly. And that's it, that's it. It's really that simple. There's nothing to it. And um, it's my new favorite thing in the entire world. Yo, how's it going? All right, back. Had to eat straight away. Couldn't even, uh, couldn't even bring myself to try and film any of that. Jumped in the shower. Yeah, this place has showers, hot showers at the end of the day. It's so good. Check this out. It's pretty nice. And then that's the sweet gigs behind you. I'm gonna give you a quick look around the main hut house. What would you, this isn't really a hut, is it? It's more of a house. It's a, yeah, it's a lodge, right? It's a palace. And they're gonna pour a whiskey and chill out. Uh, but yeah, we've got this sweet outside area for just all kinds of barbecuing and outsidey goodness. Dave's firing up. What are you firing up, the internet? You're on TikTok there, you that, Dave? All right, so stuff hanging outside. We've got this cool deck out here. Couches, really, really cool stuff. All right, it's gonna jump into here, follow me. And we've even got some lights going on. The generator give us some power. We've got ourselves the kitchen area, which is well used earlier. Just a sweet kind of inside gig. We've got a wood burner down there for those colder nights. I mean, just, it's just a super cool place. Check this out, this right in here. Is the shower so good at the end of the day? Saves just uh, sitting around camping in your, in, in your clothes, freezing. And then in here, this is where's the light? This is gonna be my room for the duration of the stay. And then Dave, he's over there in that separate ensuite kind of bathroom area. Um, there's a couple of other cabins and stuff dotted around. Uh, just so, so, so cool. Um, really excited and happy to be hanging out here for a couple of days. You need to tune in next week. We'll start from where we finished today, where we had all that crazy streamer action in the rain, and then we'll push up for a good solid day up from there into that cool water. Pretty excited. Things are starting to get pretty nice up there. Nice deep pools and yeah, I think throw that streamer around some more as well as hopefully find some some stuff we can fish to that's about it i may have one more thing to do <laughs> and it begins with a w so i'm gonna uh sit down have a drink catch up with dave and just enjoy the evening I hope you enjoyed this one guys give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff have yourselves a great weekend i'll see you on the next one peace